Hey there, welcome to a new episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, holistic, uh, illusional kind of effect with, uh, with text. Check this out. So if I zoom out, you're going to see here the Panther word and here you're going to see the vision word we read, right? If I zoom in, uh, in both ways, you're going to see the Panther word in blue. You know, so uh, this one has like different density between lines and this one also a different one. And here also you can see the vision with, if, of course, it's with white background. So blue is going, going to disappear, get absorbed a little more. And here you can see the vision more. If you zoom out, you still need here. Actually, you see the panther a little more, but more, but it's still confusing. But, you know, with black background, it's really sick. This was inspired from Hoonigan. They had this stuff. Uh, of course, this is some old school kind of approach and style uh, they did back in the days. Nowadays, it's not pretty much used. But anyways, let's jump in. Let's create a new artboard and show you how it's done, basically. I'm going to put this a little bit away and uh, just type in your name or your brand's name or something, whatever you want here. Okay, and I went with a free font. It's called Oswald or something like that. Uh, I here was like the demi bold italic. Yeah, this was the one. I'm gonna select one. You can download it for free uh, from the internet. This is the name of it, and uh, you can research that stuff. Okay, from here. I'm gonna decrease the distance between the letters. You can decrease the distance by going there. And you can see there, like, if you put a minus, you're gonna decrease the, you know, distance. So I like it on 50. I'm gonna put it on 50 and now I'm gonna expand. Click and go to object, expand, click OK. Now it's uneditable again. Uh, yeah, from here we're gonna create lines. You also need to swipe, swip, uh, you know, from stroke to fill. So press this little arrow. So right now you're on the stroke. Select this line right here. The line segment tool. Just draw a line like this. You can actually decrease the stroke here to be even more thinner. 0 0.25. Gonna zoom in and uh, let me zoom in some. Yeah, something like this. So how you copy it, you press and hold Alt, you drag it, and then also if you press Shift, so it isolates, you know, right there. So it doesn't move. Uh, I'm gonna let it go somewhere around here. From here, I'm gonna press Control D repeatedly, or you long press Control D until it creates a ton of copies. Okay, select them all, right click and group. From here, we're gonna experiment. I'm gonna check it out, like how much distance did I left here or here? Here, the distance are bigger than here. This, this is more dense. You know, if uh, you create, you know, like less distance between, less and less distance, uh, you won't even see the effect. So it's a good way to test out like, uh, what kind of distance you can put in. I'm, I'm gonna try to uh, put a little bit more. Something like this. I can, I can try it out with this. And if you also wanna try out like different versions, you can do a copy always. So what I do is usually leave the original one like this and I'm gonna press and hold Alt and then Shift and create a new copy so I don't touch the original one. And right now we can cut these in pieces. I'm going to press Shift plus M or this is the shortcut of the, what is that? Shape Builder tool. I mostly use shortcuts. I don't touch these options because it's like way too long. And now we're going to press and hold Alt and also Shift at the same time. So you can create this uh, thing and just cut out the forms that you don't need. Right now I just cut out, I'm going to cut out these lines. And after that, I'm going to cut out the rest, you know, from here. So we're going to speed up the video clip and uh, see you when everything is done. Okay. 
So we did cut out, uh, you know, all around. So yeah, we got a lot of lines going on. Basically, these are going to cut these. But we got more in here even. But anyways, so the main idea, you do the same way. I'm going to ungroup it actually. Ungroup and select only this part. And I'm going to cut out these. So the main idea is uh, you cut out these. You're going to leave the top one and you're going to cut out the bottom one. You're going to leave the top one and so on and so forth. And I'm gonna show you after, like basically just a sec. I'm gonna go with this to the end, and here basically you're gonna uh, cut out the top one, and here you're gonna leave the top one so they can like uh, go between together and create that nice effect. So, anyways, I'm gonna speed this up and show you the final results. <laughs> Alright, so after we cut out this whole thing, uh, of course I'm going to move this here. And after you cut it out, you're still left with a lot of uh, unnecessary lines like this, you know, which basically we used. Uh, what I need to do is just select the, the letters, because these are grouped anyways. Select them all, and then you just move them, you know, and you're left then with another interesting stuff. Uh, yeah. Right click, wait, there's like, if I right click, I mean select all, right click, there's like not, no on group. I see like more stuff going on here, but I'm gonna correct it, you know, at the end eventually. Uh, how you can group it if you don't see the on group, I mean the group, sorry, you can press control plus G. And now everything is grouped now. But as you can see, we got like more layers in there, I need to there and here and here okay so these eventually need to be corrected at the end but anyways right now we're gonna focus on the tutorial just select them all and uh, bring them down press ctrl g group them right now we're left with this too i gonna the, actually this is a pretty nice effect also look at these Lines. I'm gonna group them. Actually, gonna add some distance so you can see the. I'm gonna make a an effect out of these also. Like what the hell? Nice. All right. So uh, these effects gonna work like some illusions. So as I said, this needs to go down and this need, and this needs to go up. So it should be something like this. And after when you overlap these, I'm gonna pull these. As you can see, it creates this really interesting uh, effect going on. It's really cool. When I saw this, I was like, wow, now that's something. Uh, so yeah, if you pull it down, it's gonna create a nice different effect even. Or you can create that with a different one and creating a new copy of that. Actually, I'm gonna unite this. I'm gonna create the same anchor points anyways, the same number of anchor points. So I'm gonna create a new copy of the same Panther, press and hold Alt and drag it. Wow. Sweet. Or add less distance. It actually looks like some chainsaw effect, I don't know. 
it looks dizzy. I don't know, man. Uh, this this is a new one. I just discovered discovered this one right now. It just came into my mind. Anyways, we're gonna recolor this uh, with the same colors. Of course, these got uh, different distances than this one, and we're gonna see the results. What we got? I'm gonna just copy the blue. You also can find the color. They are all almost the same color. I use this, but actually. I think this one is like, uh, yeah, a little bit more darker. I went double click on the fill. And this was the lighter color that I used somewhere on that. And the blue, uh, what is that? The red one was this from here. And there you go. Let me check out the previous one. It's almost the same. Stuff. Okay. And let me check out. I need a black. Actually, I just need to swap this, okay. I'm gonna go select the rectangle tool. You create a rectangle, something like that. Just press and hold Alt, drag it, press Shift. And you press and hold Control, Shift plus a right bracket. So it's gonna put on the top because it was on the bottom of the black layer. And now let's check it out. If I zoom out, hmm, what am I gonna see here? So in the top, I'm gonna see the vision, that's for sure. If I zoom in, still gonna see the vision, you know, the, because the blue is kind of light. If I zoom in here, I'm gonna see the panther and less the vision because, uh, you know, the red is absorbed more by the black backgrounds. And if I zoom out, I'm gonna see more the vision. Wow. So this is the effect. This is the effect. Um, what else I did here? Nothing. But yeah, you still can test out the water with these and uh, create another effect, you know, just like push this and create this beautiful uh, effect, which is really badass. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, this is the tutorial. And I think to explore this further, if I'm gonna scale this down, this is a stroke, so it's gonna be more thick. I also can increase, of course, the thickness of the stroke. Wow. Okay, le let me just not end the video and I'm gonna go back to the original and create some tests with this. Okay, I'm gonna create a new artboard and show you what this does. So I'm gonna create uh, with this kind of thickness, just gonna go here. This is also really nice. You barely can read what the hell is there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and increase this stroke to this. It's gonna be something like this one, but uh, you know, with um, this is basically more edgy, you know, like this is not the same kind of results. And then you also can apply the color combinations on this and see what you're gonna get. Okay, I'm gonna go to the stroke, click the stroke, apply some colors. I'm gonna go with this, the orange. Actually, I'm thinking to go with, uh, yeah, with this. Not bad, you're gonna see the vision like this. And if I put this on this, you know, swap the colors, see what we're gonna get. Oh, these are overlapping actually because this, uh, Stroke is kind of thick, so I'm gonna add 1.5 to the stroke, 1.6 until they touch each other. 65, 67, no, 70. Click on enter. Yeah, almost whatever. Plus minus there. So yeah, it's a it's a fun effect, that is for sure. You can experiment all day with these. You gotta you gotta get the like different results, that is for sure. I also tried out like this option where you get the two panther and I'm gonna flip this. Boom. And you barely barely understand something from it. You don't understand anything, but with colors, it's gonna be it's gonna create a contrast. But anyways. This was it. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.